back to another vlog. So today's vlog is starting out just like yesterday's because I have to go back to the post office and mail something. So yeah, I'm starting off the day by running to the post office again and then I'm meeting James to do some more work for this company. Um, it's Friday, it's St. Patrick's Day Eve. It has been a terrible morning to say the least. All right, we out, let's go. We're gonna try to have a good day even though this morning is really bad. Let me know in the comments what you guys do when you're having a really bad day and like how you make it better. I would love to know just because I think that's helpful for anyone. Oh shit, someone's getting on the elevator. Bye. So I'm pretty sure I've broken this camera somehow. I switched the lens just to make sure it wasn't the lens. I was hoping it was the lens because this lens was like 200 bucks and the camera was like 800. It's a camera. Both the lenses are showing it. Good, the squad is here. What's up, guys? Hey, excuse me. Okay. Got that all mailed out. I'm all caught up finally on all of my orders and like shipping stuff. I feel like I need to hire someone to do it in the future. Like I got so behind on Depop and it was all my fault because I sold a ton of stuff super quickly and then like shipping was crazy. So I got rid of a lot of like my designer stuff because I just looked at it the other day and I was like, this is stupid. I'd rather go on a computer or something. So that's what I did. I don't know, is that weird? Probably. I keep passing this place and I want to go in so badly, but I don't have time. Y'all, I'm here with James Lee, my man. We're getting work done already. And we get a break today. He's gonna teach me how to ride this thing. Can you explain what it is briefly? Hey everybody, this is a grip stick. Uh-huh. Some, some, people, some people call it a snakeboard. It's mm -hmm. like a skateboard with two wheels, but they're cast wheels. Nice. We're totally gonna get into it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show Ailey the one, two, threes, and she's gonna master it in no time. We're gonna film it, and then I'm gonna surprise my brother and be really good at snowboarding all of a sudden. He's gonna be like, what? I'm gonna be like, yeah, here we go. Let me show you guys where we're working today really quick. This is the lounge in my building. It's super cool. It looks kind of like a restoration hardware ad. My favorite part, it's got this big fireplace. And then you can see, this is like the outdoor uh, lounge area, which is pretty cool. And then these chairs are super sweet because they're like really springy, kind of fun. And there's more seating, some cool lights and stuff, pool table. If you sit at this table, there are four chairs on this side and only three over here. You guys, I like more symmetry in my life than that. All right. I'm gonna get some stuff done. Okay. So James and I were talking, and I have, I have a great segment that, it was born together though, like we both worked on this, and it's called Thoughts Before Stand Up. So stand up is like our daily meeting with our work where like everyone talks about everything, and we have five minutes before stand up. So we're gonna share thoughts with you guys before we do that. So we were talking about, and I don't know if you guys have seen the comedian, Ali Wong. She's so funny, and in her, in her, um, it's on Netflix, if you guys wanna watch it, you better have a Netflix account. If you don't, I'm worried about you. Okay, so she talks about trapping a man. And I was asking James, I was like, James, what would someone have to do to trap you? The bottom line was to make the, <laughs> This sounds so Incapable bad. Capable of functioning without, without you. you. <laughs> like you have to be such an asset to that person's life that without you they would crumble. Maybe that sounds a little crazy, but I think that should be your goal. Right? Yes. <laughs> so we were we were talking about different things that someone else would have to do to us for us to be like trapped. Does that make sense? But what what were you saying? Like what's well, the con certain here? People. Mm -hmm. Right, so certain people might start to put up a wall if they sense that they just can't function oh, without you. They just they want to protect themselves, mm -hmm. right? Because you don't know, people have different lives, you don't know what they've been through, what their childhood is like, what their exes were like, you know? So, exactly. That's so, you have to be careful in trapping because if they notice, you foot, okay? <laughs> All right, that's thoughts before Santa. Thanks for watching. This is making me really nervous. That's how you know you're becoming an adult. When you start thinking, how could this hurt me? Rather than, how much fun is this? Saturday. I'm way too stressed for Saturday. I hate starting a vlog like that. Um, but happy, I don't even know what day it is. It is like March something. I've had a pretty rough few days. Um, which I will tell you guys about. I'm on my way to see my friend Alana. It's gonna be lit. 
Guys, remember Ben, he's back. Getting <laughs> brought Atlanta back. It's like the exact same. Fails all are two. What are we doing today? We're gonna do two. Uh, little teeny You're almost not gonna be able to see it, but it's gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome. Also, check out his shoes, they're pretty sweet. My goodness. Her full name is Princess Penny Pickle Puddin Pants. <laughs> oh my god. How? How do you say that one more time? Princess Penny Pickle Puddin Pants. Princess Penny Pickle Puddin Pants? Yep. Wow. I have so much camera envy. Maria, Tash. And you need Ben, okay? You guys probably cannot see. Let me try to bring you guys to see where we're gonna do it. How are you feeling, Haley? I'm feeling pretty good. Thanks for asking. Ben, how are you feeling? I feel alright. I'm also feeling great, so. <laughs> That's good. Everyone's feeling great. Also, Look at the precision. Exactly. And you guys, the concentration. If you want to see the best launch piercing of your life, go. I'm gonna have the link in the description. You did it so fast. Didn't hurt at all. The jewelry oh, changed. Beautiful. In a what was the question? Should I put the diamond one? In the back or the front? I think the back. I was thinking that too. Okay. But, but I want your opinion. What do you think? Yeah, yeah Ben, what do you okay. think? No pressure. Yeah, no, no pressure, but this is going to be in my ear for a long time. So. Forever. You're going to look at pressure. All right. Look at you getting those good shots. I'm getting. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm very clear. Think of the beach. Are you like anxious about me? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you guys have a tough not so bad. Not so bad. Not so bad. What's that song? It's really bad. That song yeah, actually um, is um, so hold on, bad. Hold on, hold on. Isn't that? Uh, it, they played it. I don't, no, they played at the YMCA a lot. YMCA. No, that's not no, the song. That's not, <laughs> not what I was thinking of at all. Is one in there? Oh, yeah. Let's see. You went so fast, I didn't even so notice. Fast. We were also talking about the YMCA. There was a lot going on in that The village people are kind of like. Yeah, exactly. This is a helix. That's what it's on the paper. Kind of. What would you call this? I'm going to call this an adorable little Haley piercing. Okay. Oh, love that. Be sure to ask all your local piercers for I want the adorable Haley piercing. They're going to be like, think of Paris. Yeah. In the there? summertime, I don't know, the Eiffel Tower, flowers, Wait, croissants? I feel like that's something people say, like, think of Paris when you're, like, going, I don't know, maybe I just made that up. I think you just made that up. Yeah, like, you definitely did. I mean, it definitely distracted me. Good. That was uh, super easy, though. Let's see. You're oh my so gosh, close. so cool. <laughs> yeah, I, along with my bad hearing, I also have bad vision. You keep bowing, like, a few more times. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you too. Both of you. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> yeah, I don't like looking at that. <laughs> Ooh. After you. I just noticed there's like a really creepy baby doll on this wall. Why? Why? And so if you guys want a picture here. This is so cute! You like spaghetti, they got spaghetti. Oh, Lana knows. I do. You guys just missed a really good story by Alana. I can't. I can't recall it. But we can't tell this one again. Basically, just know it was good. I met the love of my life. And he said he'd call me. He didn't. And he didn't. Well, that's no, not true. No, he butt dialed her. That's not true. The next day, he did butt dial me. Um, Do you think he actually butt dialed you, or like, it's trying 2018. to? 2018. Like, was he just trying to like work up the courage to do it and then like backed out? Like, imagine someone calls you, you missed it. You text them and say, "Hey, sorry, missed your call. What's up?" And they text you back and literally say, "Sorry, that was an accident. Hope you had a good Monday." Like I did until now. Hey guys, what is up? I forgot to end the vlog, so I just wanted to hop on here and do that. It is April 2nd already. I can't believe that. Um, and I just wanted to talk about the piercing that I got really quick. Um, it looks like I have like a massive speed bump on my head, but it's just, I'm having a really uh, bad hair day because I just want to like work out and give my hair a break because I've been doing it so much. There's Bo. Yeah, anyways, I got my double helix. That's what they wrote on the paper. I'm not really sure. You guys can tell me what this is actually called, um, but there's like a close-up shot so you guys can see it. I hope that's close enough. Let me try to get a little closer. Yay. Um, and then I also have just like 
a piercing recap. So I have my conch done and then like my lobe, obviously. And I had the second lobe, but I got it done at like one of those malls when I was like in high school and it's like super uneven. So I just don't wear them anymore. Um, and then I have my rook done as well, which is this guy up here. And so my rook, these two and my conch, all the jewelry is from Maria Tash. I was getting so many questions in my conch video about where the jewelry's from and like what store I went to. So the shop's called Maria Tash. I think they also have a shop in London, but I'm not sure. Um, but I'll link the website down below. And then Ben is the guy who's done my piercings and he is incredible. Um, the only one he hasn't done is my Rook, but he changed the jewelry, I think. Maybe that was somebody else, but whoever did that also did a great job. Um, but I'm telling you guys, like, in all seriousness, whoever pierces your ear, that makes such a big difference in the experience because if they're skilled and they know what they're doing, they can do it really quickly. So even if it hurts, it's not gonna hurt very long. Um, with my Rook, I had this done in Virginia and it's this guy in here, the like really inner one. And the guy who was doing it, bless his soul, was doing his best, but he, did not know what he was doing and it took him so long and that is why that one was so incredibly painful just because it was like he struggled getting it actually pierced and then he struggled even harder getting the jewelry in and it just took so long. I remember halfway through, I was like, this is not worth it. I don't want it anymore, like screw it. Um, and I never felt that way when I've gone to Maria Tash and seen Ben, like it's always been very, very quick and super easy. I'm telling you my conch barely hurt at all. Like this was such an easy piercing. Um, and these guys, really quick, painless, honestly, such an e easy experience, so I highly recommend it. Um, let me know in the comments what piercings you have or tattoos, I'd love to know. Um, I don't think I have anything else for you this vlog. I'm about to start a new one. I love you guys so much and I will see you later. Bye.